Hey kids, Captain Steve Rogers here. I know that this is a difficult time with the quarantine and the COVID-19 virus out there, but we can all get through this together if each of us does our part. What I need you to do is to stay busy at home, listen to your parents, keep up in school, and especially wash your hands a lot. So to help you get through this, I decided I would read to you one of my favorite kids' books, Bubba the Cowboy Prince, A Fractured Texas Tale by Helen Ketteman and illustrated by James Warhola. Let's get started. Once a strapping young feller named Bubba lived on a ranch with his wicked stepdaddy and his hateful and lazy stepbrothers, Dwayne and Milton. Bubba's stepdaddy spoiled Dwayne and Milton to no end, but Bubba worked from sunup to sundown doing the chores of three ranch hands. Bubba never complained though, he loved ranching. Dwayne and Milton spelt their days sitting on horseback, bossing Bubba around. Get them doggies along there, Bubba, ordered Dwayne. Yeah, and watch out for them cow patties, added Milton. You know how daddy hates it for you to track it in the house. Now, Miss Lurlene, who lived down the road a piece, was the purtiest and the richest gal in the county. She owned the biggest spread west of the Brazos, and she loved ranching too. But it was lonesome work, and after a while, she decided it was time for some companionship. I aim to find myself a feller, she said, one who loves ranching as much as I do. And it wouldn't hurt if you was cute as a cow's ear, either. Miss Lurleen decided to throw a ball. She sent invitations to all the ranchers in Texas. Soon the day of the ball arrived. Milton and Dwayne spent all day getting gussied up in their finest duds. Bubba ran himself ragged waiting on them. Bubba, shouted Dwayne, fetch my bolo tie. Bubba, shouted Milton, get my boots polished. Bubba shouted his wicked stepdaddy. Brush them horses and wash that wagon. By the time Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy were ready to go, Bubba was exhausted. Still, as they climbed on the wagon, Bubba asked, can't you wait for me to get ready? I want to dance with Miss Lurleen too. Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy hooted and hollered. Why, you're sorrier than a steer in a stockyard, said Dwayne. Can you imagine Miss Lurleen dancing with the likes of you, said Milton? Miss Lurleen wouldn't even wipe the dirt cloths off her boots with that raggedest shirt of yours. And you smell more like the cattle than the cattle do. <laughs> Bubba took a look at himself. It was true. He didn't have a decent shirt to wear. His boots were downright disgraceful, and he did smell a bit rough. Milton and Dwayne were right. Miss Lurlane wouldn't dance with the likes of him. Bubba hung his head. He felt lower than a rattlesnake in a gully. Milton and Dwayne and their wicked daddy went off to the ball. Bubba mounted his horse and headed for the pasture to check on the herd. The sky was getting darker than a black bull at midnight. It looked like a Texas thunderstorm was brewing. Bubba had just arrived at the cow pasture when a bolt of lightning struck, knocking him off his horse. Bubba was stunned for a moment, but when he picked himself up, he heard a voice. Go to the ball, Bubba, said the voice. Bubba looked around. No one was there except him and the cows. Now Bubba figured he'd bonk the bejeebers out on his bean because the voice was coming from a cow. She chewed her cud for a moment and then said, I am your fairy god cow and I can help you go to the ball. Bubba sat up rubbing his head. I'd like to go, Miss God Cow, but shoot, I don't have a thing to wear. The fairy god cow swished her tail and Bubba's raggedy clothes changed into the handsomest cowboy duds he'd ever laid eyes on. His jeans were crisp, his boots were shiny, his shirt was dazzling, and his Stetson was wider than a new salt lick. I look downright purdy, said Bubba. The 
fairy god cow swished her tail again, and the nearby steer turned into the most beautiful white stallion Bubba had ever seen. Now you go off to the ball, Bubba, and have a good time dancing with Miss Merlene. You best be home by midnight, because that's when the magic runs out. Yahoo! shouted Bubba as he jumped on the white horse and galloped off to the ball. When Bubba arrived, the hoedown was in full swing, but every time Miss Lurleen finished a dance, she yawned. There goes another ten dollar Stetson on a five cent head, she complained. Where are all the real cowboys? By the time it was Bubba's turn to dance with Miss Lurleen, it was almost midnight. Soon as she saw Bubba, Miss Lurleen's eyes lit up. Why, you're as cute as a cow's ear, she said. Bubba blushed, then took Miss Lurleen in his arms and started dancing. Dwayne and Milton turned purple with jealousy. Who is that dude, said Dwayne. I don't recall seeing him before, but he looks a mite familiar, said Milton. Do something, said their wicked daddy. That cowboy is winning Miss Lurleen's heart. As it turned out, Milton and Dwayne didn't have to do a thing because Bubba and Miss Lurleen were right in the middle of a dosy doing when the clock struck midnight. Suddenly, Bubba's fine duds turned into the dirty rags he usually wore around the house. He looked sorry and smelled worse. What is that awful smell? asked Milton. Why, it's Bubba, shouted Dwayne. Bubba turned 14 shades of red, apologized to, apologized to Miss Lurleen, and ran out of the room. Wait, she yelled, chasing after him. But Bubba didn't wait. He jumped on his cow and lumbered off into the night. In the ruckus, he lost one of his dirty cowboy boots. Miss Lurleen clasped it in her arms. This is the boot of a real cowboy and the man that I want to marry. I aim to find him. Miss Lurleen went back inside, and though she was asked everybody at the ball, nobody knew who the mysterious cowboy was. Nobody except Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy. That is, but they weren't talking. The next day, Miss Lurleen went from ranch to ranch, looking for the cowboy who owned the boot. When she came to Dwayne and Milton's ranch, both brothers tried on the boot, but it didn't fit. Miss Lurleen had just climbed on her horse to leave when Bubba rode up. He was dirty and sweaty and smelling from working with the cows, and he was only wearing one boot. Miss Lurleen jumped off on her horse and ran over to Bubba. Try this on, she cried. Bubba took his dirty old boot and pulled it on. Much obliged, ma'am, he said, blushing. It fit perfectly. You're my prince in cowboy boots, shouted Miss Lurleen. I'd recognize that smell anywhere. Marry me, cowboy, and help me work on my ranch. Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy threw chicken fits. But Bubba just smiled. He and Miss Lurleen rode off into the sunset. They lived happily ever after, roping and cow poking and getting them little doggies along. The end. Well, kids, I hope you enjoy Bubba the Cowboy Prince. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. This is Cap signing off.